Yo, what up guys? So this is my 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Q4. So what I'm gonna be doing today is uh, I'm gonna be swapping out the air filter and spark plugs. I ended up getting this uh, BCM air filter, pre-oiled. It's a upgrade from the stock one and I went with the stock Alfa Romeo spark plugs. So in order to get this one off, uh, we gotta remove one, two three four and i'm gonna loosen up this clamp in order to get this off and the zender so let me get this process going and i'll walk you through it all right guys so i already loosened up the four screws which is uh seven mil uh so what i did next was unplug this the air mass flow sensor has a red tab and then you just squeeze and pull back I loosened up this clamp, which is a seven mil as well, right? And that's what that's, what is that gonna do is, it's gonna make me, give me more room, access, pull this back down, up, you pull up and then out. And the uh, screws stay on there. So no worries that you might drop them. And now all you gotta do is remove the old filter, right? This is the old filter and install a new one. All right, guys, so here's the filter in after removing it from the packaging. It comes with, a, I guess, a certificate and some stickers. So all you gotta do is just drop it in place. It's a little bit, it's a snug fit because around the filter on the bottom, it has like a, let me show you, like a rubber, like it, it surrounds the whole filter. So all you gotta do is just push it in. It's a little bit tight but it's a snug fit, but a perfect fit. Once you do that, that's it, you're done. And you just gotta put everything back in reverse. So now what you gotta do is just get the stock box. It has some like teeth here. You gotta, like, you gotta make sure you get them in there. And then you drop, see these right here? You get them in there and drop back. Just gotta maneuver it back in there. See it drop. Everything looks like it's aligned. Now you grab your uh, seven mil, tighten up those bolts, put this holes back in here, tighten the clamp and plug it back in. And that's it. That's all it takes to do a swap from the filter, air filter. All right, guys, on to the next step. I'm gonna be removing this cover to get to the spark plugs. I seen people say that you have to take off the strut bar in order to remove the cover, um, but might not have to. So what you have to do is pop this little covers, which I did with one of these and just got it in here. A better view right here, pop them out. Same deal here, pop them out. And come out they're on some little strings so they won't fall and then this one is a number 10 it's a number 10 i have my electric wrench i loosened them up already with the number 10 and uh let me see if i can remove the cover without taking off the bar right so what you got to do is just a little maneuvering so what i did is once you take off this two um bolts here you know it's, it's already loose but it's hold on from the back for some like um push pins or something like that so what you gotta do is reach back here and pop up once that pops up basically you just gotta maneuver it out which is push back back and out see so i was able to get it out without removing the shut bar all right guys, so 
I'm looking at the spark plugs and it's here. One, two, three, and four. These seem pretty easy with the first one. It's just a thing, it's a 10 here. Unbolt, un uh, unclip this, and then that'll be it. But this one, the second one, I think I need to remove this hose right here and maybe unclip this to get access to this um, coil to get out. So let me get it started and uh, let's see what's the process. I'll walk you through it. All right, guys, so in order to get number one out, loosen it up with a 10 mil, and then this has this little white tabs right here. So what I found out was that if you grab your screwdriver, stick it in between and pop, you'll hear this white clip pop. Once that happens, you gotta push it in, push down, I mean, on the clip, and out. And that's gonna release the, the cable from the plug and you just pull out. That's for that one. For number two, since this plug and this hose is in the way, what you gotta do is remove this plug. So it has this little red tab, you push back, and then right in the middle, all you gotta do is press the middle and out. And that releases this clip so it could be out of the way. I'll get to this in a minute, which you just gotta use one of those um, clamp and then get it out. All right, guys, to so get in order to get this hose off, what I did is I used one of these vice grips to remove this out the way. And obviously it's right here. It was very like stuck on there. So you gotta really jiggle it around, wiggle it around. I put the flathead screwdriver in there so I can like, give it a little space from the bottom. And then it pulls out. That gives you more access to the number two. All right, so what I did was just put the screwdriver in here, pushed out and that's gonna give me that clip out. So this one's being a little bit stubborn, so I grabbed the pick, got it under here, under this one, under, and I pushed down, and then it came out. And if it struggles a little bit, you can always get it on the underside here, and that's gonna release it from this little tab right here. And that's it. Okay guys, so for number three and four, what I did is after you put the, here, put the, flat head screwdriver and pop it up what i did was and i found the easiest way is stick a pick like under here and under and then you push up as you do that with your finger with your other hand press on this one press down then get it under here and up press and it pops out because it needs to release from this little uh tab right here so you need to release that same deal with this one press down you stick a pick here and you push up and then it pops off for this one same deal you should get everything out of the way like this once and this you unscrew the number 10 all you have to do is pull up on the on the boots like this one just pull up that's it. Make sure you align them the way they go, like one, two, three, four. So that's the way you put them back in. All right, guys. So I started the process to take off the first three. So what I use is the five eighths, and I used one of these. I have a long extension, which will be a ten inch extension for the first three. Obviously, this is too big for the last one. So what I did, so what I did was. I use three smaller extensions with the five eighths to get to the last one. It's a very tight spot here, but it worked. All right, guys, so I got three of the spark plugs out. So for the last one, well, actually all of them, I get them as loose as I can. And then um, this one is not magnetic, so I'm using a, like, a magnet to get them out. And there you go. All four of them are out. I'm about to put all four new fresh ones. All right, guys, so I got all the spark plugs back in. I hand tied them first, and then I torqued them down with the torque wrench to 16 foot pounds. And then now I just gotta put this back, clamp it back, plug this, and start putting in the coil packs. 
and then clip everything back and that's it i'm done so let me get that finished up all right guys so i'm done i got the coil packs in one two three four clipped them back in screw it back on sensor back on holes clamped and that's pretty much it um i did the spark plugs and the air filter i currently have about thirty-two thousand miles in my car and I guess uh, every 30,000, you gotta do the spark plus. So that's why I, I did this and the air filter. And that's pretty much done. Everything's good to go. All you have to do now is put the cover back on that connects to this nipple types right here on the back. Make sure you, you press it down and then you screw it from the two uh, screws on the front. And that's it, you're done. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. Be posting more content soon. And uh, any comments or questions, leave them down below. All right, guys, thanks. Peace.